Hold tight. Give me the pain. Master! Uh, My master! He's coming! He's coming! Let me help! He's he must coming. get into the uh, Come this way! Uh, uh, no. Come this way! See the Namakas? Ithaca. Your kingdom. Yes. Do you see how beautiful? Do you? Yes. yes. Look, look. This day was the proudest day of my life. My sweet Penelope and the gods had given me a son. But in the same moment, the world we built together was changed forever. Dark news was coming to my shores. Beloved Greece was at war with Troy, a kingdom far across the seas. The mightiest of my fellow kings Agamemnon and Menelaus themselves came for me, sworn to a blood oath of allegiance and bound by honor to protect my land. I was forced to leave my home, not knowing if I would ever see my wife and child again. I am Odysseus, king of Ithaca, and this is my story. No. You must leave it here. The bow now belongs to your son, my grandson. You alone will teach him to string it when he has grown. I see it is war.
You're about this. Summon the captains. Assemble the crews. We sail for Troy. Troy! Gods be with us. Athena, my goddess, you have always protected me. Yet today you remain silent. Tell me, is there no way to avoid this war? Athena, speak to me. Say the words, you don't. You must allow me to die inside of you. You cannot live a life alone. You will always be my wife. If there is a beard on his face and I still am gone, you will choose another. And you will marry. And you will give our son the kingdom. Yes. And all we have worked for. Now promise me. Join the farewell song. Set the sails! Try and Troy to dust. Return with the spoils of enemies you've slain. And my heart will rejoice. Give Penelope the same strength you gave to me. I will care for your son as I cared for you. Gods of sea and sky carried me to
You see, Telemachus, it's easy. <laughs> Telemachus? <laughs> Telemachus, where are you? You can't catch me. I can still catch you. <laughs> yes, I will. <laughs> <laughs> mother, mother, save me! Oi. Mother, mother! Would you like me Mother, mother! Save me! You save me! <laughs> oh. Mother! Telemachus, oh. <laughs> 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 where are you supposed to be? In the field, shearing sheep. Timaeus, take Telemachus back. Mm -hmm. Come on, boy. Come on. Out. He's just a boy. He's not ready for man's work. Because you will not let him grow. He's my son, not yours. My son was ready for all things. Yes. Your son had his father. Mm. You're soon enough. You can never be soon enough. Each day without Odysseus lasts forever. Yes. But if he does not return... Do not say those words to me. You cannot hide from them. If Odysseus is dead, you must bear it. And go on. You must live for your son, as I did. You must raise a king. You have a heart of stone. Yes. If stone can shiver and bleed, strange feeling woke me. Yes, he's coming. <gasps> Master! <sighs> Telemachus! I'm going hunting. Not with that. Not yet. But it's mine. Yes. If I'm old enough to keep my father's flocks and kill his game, then I'm old enough to use his bow. If you can string it, it's yours to hunt with. If you cannot, you will place it in your father's treasury until I give it to you. Antiglia! 
I can't wait no longer. If Odysseus is dead, I will meet him in the sea. He's alive! We will wait for him together. Together! No! Leave me. I'm ashamed, but my stone heart has broken. I have nothing left to bleed. What of your family? Of me? You're not only the mother of my husband, you are my mother! You're my father! You're my strength! <laughs> You're strong enough alone. <laughs> you will feel me with you. Even from the land of the dead. No! Please. You cannot stop me. No tears. Lord Antonus, Lord Jerimachus, nobles of Ithaca, you have brought news of my father? News? No. Your father is long dead. You cannot say that. There is no proof! Everyone who fought at Troy has long returned home. Either Lord Odysseus is dead, lost in Poseidon's graveyard, or he has chosen not to return. To abandon your mother, his kingdom, and you. Now your mother will choose one of us and marry again. Mother, men are in the hall. They say they're here for you. Men who say my father is dead. They have brought gifts. I must receive them, and you must. The custom is clear. Welcome guests. Feed them openly. I will respect this as your father did, and so will you. I will not. Finish, Melanthe. Mistress, you are still beautiful. The nobles of Ithaca will beg at your feet. I 
I will receive these men, and that is all. They will have nothing which belongs to Odysseus. Not his fortunes, and not his wife. Look. Look at this fool! You are Queen Penelope. I am the wife of King Odysseus. I humbly. I am the humble. Here is here. What? I am Elatus of Dilichium, owner of sheep <laughs> and pigs. I have come. I am here. <laughs> To join these noble men, I bring gifts of gold and wool and music and jugglers for your palace. Play! What a carnival! I'm worried. I'm worried. We don't stand a chance. The finest in Dilichium. I hope my father died a hero. If he is alive, he has forgotten me. Come. Come with me. Hey, The day the gods gave you to us, they took your father from me. But he promised me, with you lying here in my arms, that he would return alive, as this tree around which we built our world is alive. If he's alive, why hasn't he come? <laughs> I know your father. He is alive. There is something you must know. The day your father sailed, I swore to him a promise that if he had not returned by the time you were a man, beard on your chin, that I must remarry. I will keep my promise. We have time to wait. You do not have your beard yet. And these men? I will hold them off. Take me to your mistress. <laughs> Queen Penelope. All here believe Odysseus, king of Ithaca, is dead. Yes. I do not. Today, I will begin to weave a shroud for my lost husband. If he is not seen in Ithaca, before I finish, I will choose one of you to take his place beside me. I will send for maidens to help you. I alone must do this work. <laughs> weave alone? We'll be old men by the time you finish. <laughs> You have brought gifts to my door. I have given you a proper feast in return. Now I depend on your honor. Return to your homes. When my work is done, you will hear my decision. We will stay where we are. We will not leave here until you choose. Leave slowly. Your husband's wine is very good. <laughs>
No. Lock the door. Mistress? The door. I will serve these filthy strangers no longer. Drinking, sleeping where they drop. I have to crawl over that pig elephant each time I went over the treasury. And to watch men from our own island eat you and Telemachus out of house and home. It's more than I can bear. At least there is life here now. Melanthe, quiet. Yes, take care of you. I've seen the way you run after that snake, Eurymachus. He asked me to serve him. I cannot refuse my mistress's guests. Guests! <laughs> guests leave when asked. How much longer can we stand this? How much longer oh, do we yeah, have to take you Calm pigs? down. Stop it. Pugs. Listen to you me. Pigs. They will, they will go. I can't drive them away. But they are men. They will follow their empty bellies. Penelope! Penelope, I've won! Me! I've won! <laughs> Telemachus! What are you doing here in the dark? I'm going to kill Antonus. All of them, if I have to. Calm yourself, Telemachus. <coughs> Antonus is a warrior. He's been to battle. He's cut men in two with his sword. You've not done that yet. Now is the time. No, it is not. <coughs> if you kill him, the others will not leave. <coughs> You'll give them an excuse to turn against you. <coughs> Tell me, what can I do? Do as your father would do. Call on those who are still loyal to him for help. Me? Call the assembly? Who am I? You know who you are. You are Odysseus' son. Call them here. They will listen. Men, it is I, Prince Telemachus, son of Odysseus, king of Ithaca, who summon you to this place. An army of suitors has invaded my palace. They slaughter my oxen, my pigs, my sheep to feast on. Soon I will have nothing to eat myself. They offer no proof of my father's death, yet seek to take his place. And before my mother's eyes, they beat my servants and break my maids. I ask you, men of Ithaca, in my father's name, help me rid my house of these shameless thieves. 
Good men, hear me. The boy lies. These suitors have broken no law, taken nothing which was not rightfully ours. Shame lies with his mother. We brought her precious gifts, and she took them with open arms. Now she must choose between us, which is right. This is your right. She must choose. Good men, not one of us should spill blood over pigs and sheep. Ah. Yes. Yes. We can do no more. Let us go. But my father is dead. You want to kill me. Tell me. I can see it. Wait, please. Wait. If you will not help me, then give me a ship. I will sail for Mythica and find my father. It is no use, Telemachus. Wait. Wait. The boy should not be punished. If he wishes a ship, we will give him a ship. <laughs> Elders? You will have your ship, Telemachus. You will have your ship, Telemachus. Go and find your father. <laughs> you have a reason for this? He will end like his father. And if he returns? We will greet him with the spear in his back. Say goodbye to your mother. The sorrow oh, is on your face. She would try to stop me. Ah, uh -huh. you are right to fear the sea. I'm not afraid. <laughs> I've never set foot from Ithaca. Do not worry. The gods are watching you with favor. Favor. <laughs> The gods have cursed me oh, oh. since the day I was born. <laughs> Leave me alone. <laughs> your head is as hard as your father's. Athena. Uh-huh. You are mental? When I wish to be, yes. You spoke very well at the assembly. You kept your wits and used them wisely to get the ship. But you did not help me. You are your father's son. Remember, the gods will not do for men what men must do for himself. You must make this journey. This wind will take you. Go! Go before the ship sails without you! I never crossed the sea! Where should I go? Sparta! 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 Menelaus! What will I say to such a man? Use your wit! I will guide you! Cannot hear you! I'm alone now. Thank <laughs> you. 
Try this. Tender me. Tender meat. Uh, I will find my own. What is true? Oh. I do not mean to frighten you to enter your room, but I had to see. Oh, my. Leave me. It is a mistake. You now, your deceit can only bring trouble. I will not speak a word, but you're made. She may tell another. That's it. Mm. Mm. I have no choice. Yeah. It will not trick them much longer. It has been too long since you felt a man's touch. Sixteen years. Long? Take mine. In this siege tonight. These other men, they come for your fortune. I come for you. I cannot. I love my husband. Your husband is not alive. I will wait for his return or till my son brings proof. I am sorry. It is I. this boy my son brings. Telemachus of Ithaca, Highness. Welcome to Sparta, stranger. There is the king. Now go. Good King Menelaus, I have traveled long and far to meet you. You have your father's searching eyes. The same thoughtful forehead. Yes. Oh, yes. 
You are Odysseus' son. You are his son. I sail from Ithaca to find him. Can you help me? You know, I saw you on the day you were born. It was the proudest and most painful day of your father's life. We fought together at Troy, side by side, watching our brothers fall. Your father stopped the slaughter. He freed us to return to Greece. But he will never see his home again. He is dead. How can you know? Not one day, not one hour past Rhodesius of Troy without you and your mother in his heart. Only death could stop him returning to Ithaca. But you, you, Telemachus, you must return. And you must fight for what is his and yours. <laughs>